Guys, welcome back. GGL yeah. number six championship game about to be underway. Big Snoop Dogg teamed up with t Yeah, he did. Versus Dan Rue and EA. Yeah, EA and uh, Dan Rue, they, they looked good. They looked good. They looked solid. They played smart. You know, I think some of the games that we've seen have been like a little bit more one-sided, but uh, EA and Dan Rue have put it together in a tactical fest, so I think it'll be interesting to see how uh, Dog does. Well, here we go. The kickoff's coming up. The thing is, on Dog's end, first he put up 50, then he put up 60. Yeah. Question is, what's he going to do now in the championship? $11,000 on the line, and just like that, there's the kickoff. We're underway here. I don't think he's going to be dropping that much. Just because Dan Rue plays this run-style offense. He's the one controlling the offense here for his squad. EA has been doing a fantastic job blocking, being the lead blocker multiple times using Travis Kelsey. We'll see if that continues. And because of that run game, I don't expect to see a ton of points. Yeah, there shouldn't be a lot of interceptions. A lot of the points those last games came from player picks, especially by Dog. He's so good on those user skills. But, you know, Dan Rue, when he gets frazzled, sometimes he will go to the air. I would suggest not. His passing game didn't look so great. You know, the runs have been good. Passing game, not so good. Early run, two yards. Not what you want, but expected, right? Dog's going to challenge him here to throw the ball, and I think that's where a lot of the battle is going to come down to. Can Dan Rue go up against one of the sickest defenses I've ever seen? And, like, again, you know, it was like, oh, you at Dog's house or whatever. I was like, no, nah, Dog's just... Sick. He's sick on defense. Yeah, in the chat, seeing a lot of seeing a lot of support for Dog in the chat. They said four titles. Now Dog already has four titles. This would be number five yeah. if him and T Dap can pull this one off. Dan Rue looking for the upset here. Here we go. Oh, going deep ball. Oh, oh deep ball. Not going to get there in time. And Dan Rue going to drop first blood. And see, that's what I've been waiting for, someone to lob it over the head. Everything we've seen has been like a bullet or a middle pass. That one gets so much elevation. There's no way for Kenny Houston to get it back, make that play. Seven points. That's what's seven points on the board, yeah. you know what? So this is the first time that we've seen Elroy down in the tournament. That is. And that's also the first time we've seen Dan Rue have a successful pass more than five yards. You know, this is true. So the question is, how quickly will we see a response from Elroy and TDAP? Uh, oh, big hit now. EA, he's on court. I'll definitely say both EA and TDAP, they like to run their mouths as things get going. So it'll be interesting to see how both sides do when both sides score. I'll see what you, you guys just missed it at home, but what we just saw here was a, a little play, a uh, little play following by Dan Rue. I'm not going to give away what just happened, but it, it, very integral uh, change that Dan Rue just made. We'll see how they adjust to it. Yeah, to the point they made a timeout. They used the timeout early just because uh, they didn't like it. I, I didn't actually see it, so I'll, I'll keep it in wraps. Yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's a big change. So we'll see. We'll see how that affects the uh, the defense now. They have to put up against Elroy. Uh, oh, I see what you're doing. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, so they're trying to get the right player matchup here. But first drive for TDAP and Elroy. We've seen a lot of these run skills. Oh, oh, oh. the user truck. That's good, man. Again, as soon as Bo gets his shoulder square, it, it doesn't matter. At least one broken tackle. I mean, they call it truck for a reason. It's not called Fiat. <laughs> fiat stick? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the smart car stick. All right, nice early run here. Establishing the run again oh, on the outside. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. Going to grab the first, though. Getting pretty excited for eight-yard stops. Yeah, you know what, you, you keep giving up eight yards and eventually he's going to make his way in the end zone. Yeah, uh, but again, we got to see how quickly uh, Dan Rue is able to score and through the air. So now you have to start worrying about that when you're on defense. You know, I don't know if you're, if you're Elroy, you're going to start respecting the air game just from one pass. I mean, you got beat deep once, but is that enough to really change your strategy? I don't think so. This is good. Again, just a nice slow pace here for uh, Elroy, and again, every time a play is called, they're taking their time with the coverage that they want to answer with, and nice little game of chess here from a tactic standpoint as we get another stretch to the outside. Oh, oh great juke there. Finally gets pushed out of bounds, gonna pick up the first and some. Uh, nice move you see here on the replay. Just quick step, and then side juke right there. TDAP has shown time and time again his control of the ball runner has been immaculate. 
Oh, see, I like I like the mix up there. It's, you have the two options. You can cut all the way to the outside, yeah. hopefully to beat him around the corner, or you take the quick second step, cut inside, and maybe you pick up two or three extra yards. Yeah, there's a small on the inside, and I don't think he was gonna be able to bounce to the outside. So you're able to get two there rather than trying to run it long, lose a couple yards. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Break that tackle. Break that tackle. That's that's a big hole. Tf going to the end zone. Just, Just like that. that all the way back. Well, you know, there's a touchdown. Assuming they don't miss the field goal. <laughs> we got Elroy with the pop off. Yeah, the two slaps. Keep it together. I will say though, there's a little tense while these runs we only get two yards on first down. There's a little tense. Now that both teams have the uh, advantage here of nice offensive drives, I think we've eased into this finals. So Deion, let me ask you this: with both teams scoring very quickly, still in the first quarter with. Oh, just a little over two minutes remaining. Yeah. Will this continue to be a high-scoring game, or will they both adjust and we'll see them kind of settle into their offenses and their respective defenses? Uh, I, I think it'll be. I think it'll be uh, a, a defensive game, right? All the all these games have been, or all these plays so far have been runs. You know, at some point, like you're not going to be busting off big runs. You're going to have to figure out when you throw it, right? And so like. Yes, the deep ball from Mahomes by Dan Rue, that was a play, that was big, but they're a running offense, that's what they do. I think that prevents the score from getting out of hand too early. Oh, great takedown there. Said second and ten, so no gain, but taking a big hit there. A big hit just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Pitch to the outside. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice pitch. Oh, big spin back inside. Going to pick up a couple there. Yeah, that run was not looking like it was going anywhere. I think he could have cut it in early. Right there, you can see it in the replay. There's a bit of a hole, but a spin on Kenny Houston. Gets him five yards on that run. Now passing down. down Dan Roos passing is going to be challenged yet again. Yeah, third and five situation. I mean, or do you stick to your run? Pick up three and then take, take your chances there. Keep an eye out for it. Damn, it looked like he was trying to draw the other team off sides. Oh, big oh, pass going down deep. We saw this before. Oh! oh, we've seen it once. We saw it again. The same play, the pump off by EA. Oh, boy. Dan Rue remaining very focused this time around. <laughs> I mean, there's a certain amount of strategy that's in that. You know, we're in the GGL. You know, we're all in the same room. If you say your play a little too loud, you know, big opportunity there. And just like that, we've had every call has been answered. And it's like the unique case here for uh, EA and Dan Roo is the fact that it's been through the air. They made it here on the run. They're establishing their offense through the run. And then on a third down, instead of just playing for the first and playing for it all, they're able to get it. Tyreek Hill getting open deep downfield. Deion, so you got to ask yourself at this point, was that their strategy? Throughout the entire tournament, they stuck with the run game. That means the entire scouting report that Elroy saw up to this point was with the run, and, and he's been taking it to the air. And that's what you've been, that's what you were asking. Were they showing enough? Was that an actual warm-up? What was that like? Once they had the wins, it's been all through the ground, and things have looked good and felt good as we get another timeout. Interesting calls here by Dan, Dan Rue and EA. They just don't like the look when they're on defense. They don't mind calling timeout, get the right personnel in there. Oh, nice cut to the outside. Going to pick up a few there. You know, we'll take a few yards here and there. Almost had that lead fullback block there to spring free. Wasn't quite able to get there. Still can't believe we're still in the first quarter. No, oh, that stretch. Oh. It's going to be what? Third and three. I'm surprised he got pushed back. Yeah. He, he beat the cornerback, but then uh, everyone else came to help out. Worked well. Here we go. Third and three, boxes stacked. A draw, like a, a dive right up the middle would be good for three. People don't normally like doing that one. There we go. Fell forward, but not oh, quite enough. Not enough. Fourth and one situation. Deegan, you going for it here? It's early. Uh, it's early, but I feel like you have to. Fourth and one situation. On your own 37, and you're the defensive minded Snoop. I think I punt it here. I think I punt it here because it's on their own 37. Nah, they're they're going to go. go. Here we go. You already see the, the play disrespect. Call. They said you can't stop us. 
Ooh. Laying a lot on the line very early on here. A lot of mind games there. You could see him audible the play to one side. You could see the defender shift to that side. Then you have one player coming in motion because usually that helps with a crack back block. And then the quarter ends. I mean, you got to wonder, was, he, <laughs> was the player really just trying to draw him off sides and get an automatic first down? Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. We'll keep an eye on it, though. You got a run pass option to the right side. Got to whisper it because they could hear it. We get the roll. He's going to get there. He's going to the first. Barely gets there, but gets enough to get it done. Yeah, that was close. The, the Kenny Houston safety hit coming on through, driving him backwards, but not able to get the stop. That was close. <laughs> Man, the room is so serious right now. Oh, and everyone intensely watching this matchup. Yeah. This is one of the most highly anticipated matchups. No one has seen in a GGL matchup yet. No one has seen Snoop Dogg versus Dan Rue. No. Again, and Dan Rue, highly revered in the GGL circles. Helps a lot of players with their uh, packs, with some of their offenses. And now we're going to see if his defense is going to be enough to hold him here in this second quarter. Oh, turn the corner. Ah, nice play by Just EA. short of the first. So what I like there by EA is he switched off. You can see the linebacker just, instead of running at Bo Jackson, he runs back to the sideline. Good play by EA to prevent a big play from yeah. Bo Jackson. You know, because if, if you don't try to cut that off, yeah. then, you know, he's, he's going all the way. You can't, you can't play catch up. You got to play cut off. Yeah, and again, that's why you see a lot of players click on the defenders. Oh, nice juke, but... Ooh, almost stripped there. Yeah, yeah. Got just spun around. You see that arm... Paul almost came loose. Look at that. I'm able to hang on to it. I'm starting to see a little bit of cracks here on the ball running here. You've got that fullback right there. If you cut in earlier, that fullback blocks for you. You've got a lane. Instead, he tries to outrun him and falls three yards short. Here comes a pass. Oh, big. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, Just a miracle bounce there. A miracle bounce. Did they get it? Did they get it? Oh, yeah. It's Four progress. are smiling down upon the four-time champion in TDAP. Right? Holy moly. Oh. You see that tip into a catch. Forward progress means first down. That's insane. I mean, but can we ask for any anything better in the championship game with so much on the line? Man, if you stay to the outside there, you keep running wide, you're going to pick up at least another 12 yards. Yeah, again, you're just... He's not comfortable with this fullback lead blocking. It was a great job by the lead blockers. The CPU actually just getting in there and engaging the defender. Just use that and then make your play. He keeps trying to anticipate when the hit's coming. You just tuned in. Welcome GCL number six, championship game. Oh! You hear him calling for timeout. You yeah, heard it. Yeah, yeah, Wasn't yeah. able to get it off in time. He didn't. He saw the way they lined up, but he didn't like what he saw. He's trying to go. Again, is a nice stack, and then again, they, they filled the box onto the right side. And unfortunately, that, that just led to a big loss here, and now a big passing down for TDAP. Now, Deion, here's the thing. Less than a minute remaining, and at the half, you're not going to be receiving the ball. So you, you pretty much have to score here. Otherwise, you risk being down two possessions. Yeah, I, I think that's the pressure. And again, you gotta, you got to trust in your defense here. So if you, can take, if you can take three points, you take three points. <laughs> uh, TDAP from the gun. Oh, oh, good defensive coverage there. Yeah, I think he had maybe the running the back wide. out the backfield. Yeah, yeah, he had the wide. The wide was open, I saw it. The running back was open, but running backs, when they get the ball like that, they, it takes them a while to get going, right? Right, right, right. So we're seeing TDAP is going to kick off. They said, hey, you know what? Rather than turn it down deep in our own territory, let's kick it off. All right, so these punt there by Thomas Morstead as a former punter and kicker. Always try to keep my eye out for the uh, punters and kickers that I Oh, raised. okay. I thought that was because you played soccer. Nah, I punt too. I did both. Oh, okay. But, well, I mean, that explains why you played soccer. The, the punting, no, nah, it explains why I punt kick. Uh, the punting and kick, though, it's just its own culture. Anyway, it's boring. I just keep out for it. <laughs> All right, so Dan Rue, right. single back formation. 
We'll go with the pitch. Ooh! Ooh. Brought down Ooh. deep in the backfield. Oh. Yeah! Time out here by TDAP and Snoop. After a big, big loss, six yards lost there, now on the five-yard line. Now, the thing is, they, they still got two timeouts. They so do? This, this puts them in really good field position. This, that could be a momentum shift that they needed. Here we go. Run to the left. Oh, that's oh. another drop short. Call that timeout. Right, so going to a third and 15. So a third and long situation. You know he's going to go to the air. He's gotten beat deep twice, though. Yeah, I, I think it d depends, right? Here we go. This is what Darius has been using. This run pass option to the left. Will he pull it out? No, he won't. Oh, oh, oh. that's it. Strip. No strip. Call that timeout. 30 no seconds. What? 4 12? I'm sorry, 4th and 12. <laughs> 4 12. Adolph. Justin Colquitt with the punt here. Used to play with uh, less than 30. Now that's plenty of time for them to get in the end zone because we've seen how quickly they can go through the air and they can get to the end zone. Oh, he'd be oh well, that's a nice run back. The corner. They're at least going to grab a field goal from this one. Yeah, it's going to be close, right? No timeouts, 18 seconds. In real life, not enough time to actually snap two plays, I don't think. But in Madden, I think that's enough to get in, get your play, spike the ball, and then set up the field goal. You can get two, maybe even three plays off in 18 seconds. If you get tackled in infield, it's tough. Well, no, yeah, you, you got to go for passing plays so that that way on the incomplete, the clock's going to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. TDAP just going to take the yard. Yeah, going to take this one out of bounds. That's just short. short of the first down. So that's five. Or eight. Eight yards. Now this field goal is much more manageable. Still not a gimme. 13 seconds. You, get, you still get two plays off here, so... You might look at one deep shot towards the end zone, then take the field goal. Yeah, this is a 49-yard field goal if that's how they roll. Oh, they're running the ball. Ooh, interesting Get here. to the line. You got to get there. You got to spike it real quick. Spike, there it is. Okay. So, Egon, what are you doing here? Are you taking the field goal so you're only down by four, or are you going to look at one shot deep? Ah, you take the field goal. You take the field goal here. I don't think there was enough time to... Try to take a shot and then kick the field goal. So take the points. Ooh, perfect. Perfect kick. Up and good. Just like that, only down by four. Elroy and TDAP trying to mount a comeback against Dan Rue. And yeah. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've seen uh, Dog. Yeah, we've never, we've never seen him behind going into the second half. Yeah. He's a juke, nothing there. All right, so that does salvage a little bit. They will not be getting the ball back. Dan Rue and EA doing a solid job taking the lead after. Uh, oh, wait, they are getting the ball back. How's this? Sure, why not? Oh, that's right. They did start on offense because they scored the big deep ball. And so by maximizing your possessions here, uh, Snoop and uh, TDAP have the opportunity to take the lead. Big opportunity here. If they can score here, you know, forcing Dan Rue back on his heels because now he has to get the field goal. Yeah. It'll be interesting, though, like, because I, I think they're really focused on not getting beat deep. Don't get beat deep. Don't give anything up. They let Snoop and TDAP chunk down the field. But now that they can reset, let's see how they play defense. Oh, turning that corner. Going to pick up a – look at that. Oh. Taking three players to bring them down. Bo looks like the mountain. Bo knows. Bo knows turning turn the corner. Bo knows carrying two dudes. <laughs> there you go, around the corner again. Oh. oh, that was a big hit. Patrick Willis, everyone using that card now at linebacker. And again, just Third like and two. The lineman's right there to lead block, but it's Oh, did you see that hole? Fast. There we go. Oh, big truck there. Oh. Almost sprung. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I need one of these vests. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> First and ten. Going to reset those downs. After a nice big truck there. Bo cutting to the outside yet again. Going to pick up a few. Yeah, went out of bounds. I think might have been able to turn it up right here. Instead, just goes out of bounds. Clock is stopped. Yeah, it's a safe play. That way, if the ball stripped, it's going out of bounds. Yeah, anyway, that's so. Marcus Allen now taking the snaps. Bo getting a little tired. Oh, nice spin there. Got the stiff arm out. Wasn't able to pick up a lot after the stiff arm, though. Yeah, you know, the way that they animate Marcus Allen hold the ball, it just looks so loose, doesn't it? It's just yeah. out there. 
It's not like there's more chance for fumble, but it's just out there. Mark Zellin able to break through. Oh, so close. So this is going to be a third and one situation. Oh, fourth and two. Yeah, remember, we had that run out of bounds earlier. But they have been getting positive yardage. Do you just trust the numbers and say, hey, if we run the, run the ball again? Oh, D, I don't know. I don't know if I want to give it up, uh, you know. Here we go. Now in the shotgun. We know it's not going to be a run with a fullback. Well, we don't know. Well, not with a fullback. That's, yeah, that's Vic, my point. That can, that can be enough room for Vic to get free. Yeah, they got both Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson in there. Oh, and good pass. Nice first down. Yeah, they go with the arrow. That's a brilliantly executed play. It, it's so hard to defend. In Madden, it's so hard to defend. Like that, that pass comes out so quick. It's almost like the moment Vic hikes the ball, he's letting go of it. And it, it's... It's also the, the receiver. It looks like he's running it out. You don't want to get beat on and out, so you cut outside and the middle's wide open. All these runs at the outside. Yeah. But now, now going back to Bo. Bo cooled down a little bit. You gave Allen a few runs, but. You know, what I like about this, we got to see both EA and Dan Rue do this earlier to another team where they just ran the ball, took a oh, huge, nice huge chunk of truck. half, and like slow down the game. Now we're seeing both uh, TDAP and Snoop do this, and they're okay with it. They're slowing down the game. That time, lost the two yards, but they're in control. Speaking of control, third quarter, just about a minute and a half left. D on the only down by four points. So, I mean, this game is, you know, anything but over. The yeah. question is, you know, at what point does scoring become too late for the other team? Here we go, another run. Oh, oh almost able to get there for the first. Gonna bring up a nice fourth and three situation. D got again. So they're always getting so close, but not enough. They can they can keep chipping away at this lead, but eventually they gotta get in the end zone. Yeah, I think so interesting. I think you gotta go for it. You can hit a 57 yard, especially if you got a good kicker. It just makes it pretty difficult. And it wouldn't have helped. So here we go. You're in the trash talk there. Moody there in the background. Ooh! Able to hang on to it. Gonna grab the first down. He absolutely needed that one. Yeah, big catch underneath. That was real big. He was pretty open, though. Yeah. I will say, like, he held on to it after the hit, because, I mean, the way he got wrapped up, that, that left arm. Well, I think because around. it was so open, it was a big hit. It, would've, it wouldn't have been a drop, it would have been a fumble, because it was a big hit. Oh, man, Bo just oh, constant trucking there. This was one of the few times where he cuts inside, and I think outside would have been the right answer. Every time it's been outside, outside, outside for TDAP, this time inside, not the right answer. But now look, sitting on the 30, just about 30 seconds remaining in the third. They've used a lot of time, virtually the entire third quarter. Going to pick up another first down here. At this point, you got to wonder, was that part of their strategy? Yeah, I think so. I, I think... Well, I don't think the fourth downs were. But I think the fact that they've had the ball the whole time and wasting the clock is huge. You can see how it makes sense. Ooh, oh, a lot of traffic there. There was a lot of space on the outside. Oh, big, big hole on the left. But. It sounded like Dan Rue whiffed one of his hit sticks, and so whoever had contained missed it, but instead not able to get it. This is exciting. Going into the fourth. It has to be the end Four, of the baby. Everybody come get water. <laughs> Greg Grant, the donut man from last week, the last GGO. Got fresh water and towels for everybody. This is by far the most that oh, Snoop has been pushed. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah. You know what? He, he saw the defense. He tried to change directions, but that little shuffle step was a little too much. Gave the defense too much time to get there. Peppers is just all over him. I think... The big thing here is don't get yourself out of field goal range. Again, trust your defense. You have so many timeouts here. You've been able to stop them before. Oh, that's a nice hole. Yeah, big hole, but then the defenders there. Yeah, it, clo it closes up <laughs> real quick. Real quick. But you know what? That's enough. That's enough for a field goal. Only be down by one. It's up. This that's up. up. Through the uprights. Now we got a one-point game. 14, Fourth 13. quarter, less than three and a half to go. This thing could still go either way. Yeah, I think in GGL history, this is the closest it's been so far and the longest that we've seen Elroy beat down in a game. 
This is the this is the closest. This is the closest. Oh. Oh. There it is. That's yeah. the kick. <laughs> That's what they needed. Said that ball just died right there on the one. Yeah. And again, right? You just want to get down. No fumbles. No nothing crazy. And so, it's it's not great starting position here for uh, Dan Rue and EA. Yeah, but you know we've seen this before. You got to worry about that deep ball. Oh, oh get wrapped up quick. Again, we've seen this get stopped before at the end of the at the end of the half, right? Uh, Dog and TDAP were able to hold them, call the timeouts, get into field goal range, and kick a field goal at the end of the half. And I think that's going to be huge here if they're able oh, to do so again. Nice run. You can see he went for the strip there. Wasn't able to get the ball out, but third and nine situation. This is this is good right now for the team of uh, TDAP and Snoop Dog. Yeah, and that's this is the first time we've seen Dan Rue's offense be stunted on the run. We've seen again bad passing performances by him. Not the case right now in this game. This game has been pretty awesome how well he's been able to throw. But this is not great running right now. I mean, Deegan, let's let's not look ahead. Like so much is on the line with this specific play. But if they can get this stop here, right, so it brings him down in the backfield. You're looking at a third and what, 15 situation, fourth and 15 situation. Got to punt. You punt it away. You've now given him the ball with only a one-point lead going into the two-minute drill. At this point, all the dog has to do is get in field goal range. Yeah, which, again, you're trusting your own defense. Ooh. Almost roughing the kicker there. Oh, real close. But with the sellout, though. On the cut, making it back. Yeah, just going to run outside. No reason to take a hit there. Yeah. Yeah, that was almost blocked. That was almost rough at the kick. Yeah, almost. <laughs> but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, so. Just two minutes. <laughs> oh, the run to the outside. Big truck. Ooh. Tried to get free again. Going to set up second and six. Fox going to keep running because he came down in bounds. The goal at this point, Elroy just wants to get in field goal range. Yeah, so you're looking at like maybe the 37-yard line here for something comfortable. Oh, that's a big oh. stop there. Patrick Willis coming up huge. Yeah, just one so one. Third and seven. Less than just about a minute and a half remaining. This is where it gets tense. Oh, oh. Egon, we now first and ten situation, just under a minute and a half. Oh, How quickly do you see the air just drain from Dan Rue's face? Yeah, that's huge again. Dan Rue and EA trying to make the big play and dive in the backfield instead of just wrap up, make the tackle. They miss tackles and that lets Bo go wide. Oh, no! Oh, no! He said, hey, you know what? He's going to end it. He's really. This is how it's going to end. What did I say? I said earlier, a field goal will cost somebody a game. I did not realize that after winning the entire game, Dan Rue is going to go down. He's winning. Oh, he's winning. He's running the clock. they keep calling timeout? If he get the fourth down, then he's out of timeouts. So then there's nothing you can do about it. I trust my defense. I ain't going to do that. I trust the defense. Oh my goodness! This is a masterclass right. here. Oh. Clock management. Here we go. Run oh, the outside. Oh, that is so run it in. That's so smart. smart. They burned two timeouts oh. here. Do Snoop and TDAP, and now they have the opportunity here. What do they go for? How quickly the and think about what just happened there. Not only do they score, they take the lead, but they still have all three timeouts. So even if Dan Rue gets the momentum going, yeah. they got plenty of time to stop. This. Same formation, line up, stop this. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Oh, that coming inside was there. Oh. Oh. It gets stopped short. You talked about it. The hole was right there. The hole was there. It's dead. Tries a truck, and you know, you take that. You take a 1v1 Bo Jackson against a quarterback truck. Instead, you ball know, short. Ball just across the plane. I mean, look at this. Oh. 
So they're going to kick it off. Dan Rue's going to have a minute and 12 seconds to work with. With a timeout, I feel like this is one of those Madden challenges anyways that give you the ball with like a minute, whatever, and, and a timeout to go downfield. Uh, he's going he's gonna to run it out of bounds quickly because he wants to keep as much time as possible. doesn't want to have to burn his timeout. Aaron Rodgers. I mean, at this point, though, you got to be thinking, if, if you're TDAP, you got to think deep ball. Deep ball's coming. Yeah, but it depends on this lineup here, but this has been the same play over and over again. It's been the run pass option, right? You can pull the ball out of the running back's hands and then throw the slant. It's the same play over and over again. You'll take it. Yeah, but this time you're getting run down in the backfield, and that means the clock's going to keep running. Eventually, you're going to have to use that timeout because now we're under one minute remaining. Oh, he's going through plays. He's taking a long time to call a play here. Well, that's because, you know, Dan Rue's an experienced veteran when it comes to Madden. So especially right now, he's got to play for the situation. The question is, will it work? Yeah, it just felt like it took him a little while to get that snap or get that play call off. Look at this. Time's going oh, heavy audible. Look at this. The clock has gone all the way down three seconds. Oh, play he clock. used it all. He has time. Decides to run. Oh. Makes it. Oh. Oh. Interception. I didn't know which one it was. It looked like a pick. It looked like a catch. Yeah, like, it, just made this out. it looked like it hit Dawkins' hands, fell into T.O.'s hands. Clock's going to stop at 31 seconds, 38. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in, this is Madden football. It doesn't get better than this. All right, here we go. Dan Rue. That was risky. A touchdown wins it all. A bad pass can lose this whole thing for you. Nope, goes oh, across. short dump pass. Dumps it off. Fourth and one. You need the first. You're worried about the clock. You got a lot of things. Dan Rue had to use that last time out. 24 seconds remaining. Yeah, yeah, he's gotten real quiet. That means he needs this first down just to have a shot at this thing. You know, I think you focus on getting the first here. You, you focus on getting the first. Don't worry about the clock. You get in and you spike the ball right afterwards. But get the first, no matter what. You got to wonder what's going on with. So right now, Elroy. T that they're thinking, hey, if we get a stop in, it's, it's over. Yeah. But where's the success been? The success has been in this run pass option, and it doesn't look like they're going to it. They, they're going levels here, right? So you, I mean, you, well, at this point, you gotta, you gotta try going deep. Yeah. Oh, He's, that's. Oh, we come back inside. Get out of bounds. All right. Ooh. Everyone in the room. Everybody in the room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's, you take a chance. You take a chance because if you start running downfield. And you get brought down in bounds, you don't have a timeout. You can't get there in time, stop the clock. You, you probably have like one play to spike and then one play after that. But at this point, you got to get in the end zone. A field goal is not going to be enough for you. Yeah, this is huge. This is huge. That was uh, risky, but all's well that ends well. He gets out of bounds anyways. So he's going to use as much time as possible to try to rally those those nerves. Yeah, just take it. Pass to the outside. Get out of bounds. All right. Going to get out of bounds again. But down, down to 14 seconds, second and one situation. You got to keep stopping the clock. You got to keep either catching the ball and get out of bounds, or you got to drop it. You know, we're so used to seeing Dance and Dan. Right now we're seeing managing Dan. He's managing his team down the field right now. Play after play. 14 seconds. I think that's enough if he does want to hit something inbounds to get back in and spike the ball. Oh, 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 so oh, 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 he's going to get another shot at it. He's going to get one more shot at it. What happened? Third and one. He went deep. If Elway gets there, the interception is a game over. Dan Rue, Dan Rue, the Madden guy, smiling down upon dancing, dancing. We'll give you one more shot at it. It looked like he clicked onto the receiver and then stopped running the right way. I think the pressure. You've talked about all day. I've like denied it. I think that was the first time pressure got to someone. Big money game. Yeah, take that. You take that. He's gonna stay in. And TDAP walk away with the first ever 2v2 Madden Championship win, GGL number six. Oh, I cannot believe how close that was. Oh, that was a colossal error on Dan Rue's part. <laughs> I love the check down there. The check down was a good idea, but fell in bounds. That was a grinder of a win there. Guys, we have not seen action like that in a long time. Snoop Dogg having what it takes to get done. That was nuts. We haven't seen that. 
And the trainers get trophies too. <laughs> Guys, as soon as we can get, as soon as we can get Snoop Dogg over here. Oh. So as we can get the, the champion himself over here, we got we got all kinds of prizes to give out. Actually, where's where's Sean and Lala? Before we get to the big the big envelopes, we got something for Sean and Lala. He's all there's right. Sean. There's He's Sean. All right. Yeah, let's get. Sean, I need you and Lala over here. To the computer, to the phantom stop in the middle. In the middle. Oh, we're joined. Joined in the booth, Elroy Denard Jensen gets it done yet again. GTL number six, 2v2 action with his partner, t -Rap. He He has gone undefeated in this robe, and this robe is, stays untarnished. I may have to retire this motherfucker. <laughs> but where, where's t -Rap? We got to get t -Rap in here. Where's my partner, man? My offensive coordinator, bad motherfucker, man. We was down. You know what I mean? He said, look here, Elroy. Just give me the motherfucking ball back. Is that what you want? You want dope boy? You want your ball back? <laughs> we, got, we talked about you that the whole time. Yeah. We said nobody in the entire tournament battled back after being down early, and what did we just witness now? Yeah, finals. Finals brings the best wow. out of some of the players, and that was an insane offensive drive there, mm. multiple holds on defense. Mm. By, uh, again, a team that we know is good. Very, very good uh, attempt there by Dan Rooney. Yeah. That's it. Oh, we see, just like that, the GGL 2 one, two, 20 champions. Thank Snoop Dogg, TDAP. Yo, congratulations. Not only do you walk away with those trophies, but you're also received the grand 55. Why, why not? Why not? Nice. 5,500. <laughs> why not? Cash. Big bills. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, they why came not? In. Guys, what you guys don't know is before this matchup, the uh, the Moss card went up, and T-Dab said, yeah, we don't need it. And I the got surprise in the room was like, what? And I got dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs Moss when you got a dog? <laughs> <laughs> said he didn't need it. Ladies, let's get let's get every, oh, wait. We wait need, a minute, uh, I, got a, I got a namer. Oh my goodness. So got, Somebody get this kid. This is Davina. <laughs> Misdemeanor. Trina. Goodness. Katrina. Sabrina. Misdemeanor. And now Davina. And that's Davina, yeah. My five uh they I don't know how you five call them five opulets. <laughs> What is that? Quintuplets. When it's five, it's Quint? Hey, yeah. Quintuplets. Yeah. Yeah. My quintuplets. Yeah, because it was 55. It was 55. Oh. I might as well call mine's divine. Why not? <laughs> In that order. Yeah, divine. Because it was divine order. So they're sisters. Oh, yeah. I mean, we saw some incredible games today. Yeah. Hey, right, man, it was some incredible games. I want to give a shout out to everybody that played because, for one, a lot of guys didn't practice together and didn't get a lot of chemistry together, but just seeing people work together and have, having to work with the other teammate, that was the shit to me that like, where well, you have to depend on somebody like, even with me and T that we had to understand that the offense is your side of the ball, defense is my side. It's like you got to work right. with your teammate as opposed to you just doing all the work. We've so been doing it all week. It was a beautiful thing to see the tournament, other than Red Grass controller breaking. So that was kind of like <laughs> a mishap. So Red, I'm gonna give you a little bit of this. You understand well, me to make you understand sure, right? me? Because I think I need two. Yeah, right. Trainers <laughs> eat two. Trainers <laughs> eat two. Yeah. Trainers eat two. Let me get you right on TV so they won't yeah. think I'm just talking about. Trainers it. eat two. Get yeah. the water. They Everybody get the water. That's back up. <laughs> yeah. So they won't be thinking I'm talking about. The it, trainers Reed. eat two. Hey, get you a couple of those cards, man. Man, I appreciate you. So guys, on. I also need. So we need Sean. We need Lala. We got something special for Sean and Lala. Where's Sean? Where, where's Sean? But you know what? Real GGL stick together. You, you get your hits and you stay together. Man, that's what we do. That's what we do. Sean, make your way. Sean, you got to make your way over here. We got something special for you too, Sean. Welcome to the GGL. Unfortunately, in your, in your debut, you were not able to get a win. Hold on one second. All of the homies getting one of these in about two weeks. This is an Xbox case. Radio. Radio. No. Radio. I will tighten the rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Radio. So, guys, just so you know what this is, this is a portable oh, PlayStation, no, for, like playing station yeah. for your Xbox. We don't play PlayStation. You load your, you load your mm. Xbox inside of it. It has a screen built in. Oh. 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 
So all you do is hook up the back is your power plug right here. Power plug. You got your HDMI, HDMI your power. It's HDMI to this to this because you got your own brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> it has its oh, own so monitor. Going to roll with Why it. would you do that? So this is so this is I can play at work. Boot yeah. attack. <laughs> With one of these, you get the amazing carrying case as well as flipping around so they can see the screen. So you can play on the go, small enough to fit on the tray table on the plane. So if you want to, if you want to get your practice on, get your exhibition skills up on the plane, everybody in the GJL is going to walk away with one of these in two weeks. Thank you. Also, we got to show a quick shout out to Steve over from, uh, yo, Steve held it down. Steve's goods came through with the big sponsorship. Got the got the TV gummies, got the oil. Congratulations. Got the roll-on relief. See how that is. See how, see how compatible that is. How's it going? Yeah, I can't. That bag's Jack awesome. That motherfucker's bag. live, Jack. Oh, you my. my. Uh, I like that jacket. That jacket is beautiful, man. Goddamn. That's fly with the roll. People can't yeah, see it. That motherfucker invisible on straight right now. Oh, yeah. The jacket is so fly. That motherfucker is invisible. Oh, big shout out to Steve coming through. Steve's good. Steve, baby hands. He just got hands on the screen. Ain't nothing else, hands and, <laughs> hands and head. <laughs> so nice to be here, Snoop. Hey man, thank you, man. Appreciate the love. We this thank y'all for what y'all did today and yeah. looked out for everybody and yeah. made sure we all was, you know, taken care of and hydrated and, you know, <laughs> on this level, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, don't forget, if you uh, head over there to his website, Steve's Goods, you can get 20% off using the code SNOOP right now, 25% off. So just hanging out, watching GGL 6. That's a benefit. Guys, if we can get all the players, all the players in the GGL over to the booth. Where's Dan Rue at? Where's my coach at, man? Big shout out to Dan Rue. Dancing Dan Rue, making it to the finals. Where's my coach at, man? Hello. So Dan Rooney, you know, we got all those late night too. sessions and coaching. Y'all did that. Yeah, this my boy. Yeah. This my boy. We talk a lot of shit. I might give you a game. We talk a lot of shit. Just this much love. Oh, much love. So much shit that I said. You guys get hooked up. It turned off, man. We got five hundred dollars a piece for Dan Rue. and your team, ADA. Nicely done. Nicely done. Get it down to the finals. Good job, y'all. And yeah. where's Sean at? Sean, welcome to the welcome to the GGL. Your first debut, we got something for you. You and your teammate, actually. Oh, uh, so Sean, you need, you need some milk. milk. It's a birthday <laughs> cake over here. You need some milk. It's a birthday cake. Where Lala at? Where Lala at? Lala. Lala, Lala. 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 you. Lala, Lala. 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 We don't make sure that Lala gets this, too. He slid his wrist. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been GGL number six. You see Big Boss Dog back there. Any final words? So you've now gone five in a row when it comes to Madden. You won every Madden tournament we had for Madden 19. Now you won solo in Madden 20. You just won two on two in Madden 20. What do you have to say? I can't drive 55. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to say that shit my whole life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want, to, I want to thank all the homies in Hollywood. First of all, I want to thank all the homies for participating in this shit, because I do it for them. And everybody know that I always hope that the homies have a good time and I hope the homies win money. But for the most part, we don't never do it for the money. We do it for the spirit and the pride yeah, of it all because we're going to be back online talking shit, getting ready Absolutely. for the next one. So I appreciate y'all for taking our time and getting busy <laughs> and getting down. But let me let y'all know the next one going to be NBA 2K. So tighten up your basketball skills because that's what's next. We're going to let uh, football breathe a little bit so y'all can get y'all teams together and figure it out. <laughs> you guys heard it right there. GGL number seven is going to be going down next month, October 18th. October, the game will two be days before NBA my birthday. 2K. It's going to be a pre-birthday celebration for Big Snoop Dogg. A lot of y'all are real good at basketball. Birthday, one time for the birthday. So guys, you guys have seen what's happening. The competition is fierce here in the GGL. So that means we're looking for some new competition. If we got some pro players out there that think you got what it takes to cut it here the GGL, send us a message, and we might invite you out to one of our next events. <laughs> Guys, on behalf of everyone here at Snoop's Compound here in beautiful Inglewood, hey man, California. Shout out to the new people that came today, too. Shout out to T-Dab, to the Man, to Dan Rule, to Eric V, Ludy. No, Ludy been in the uh, GGL. To the first-time players that's been in here, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for coming. Hopefully, y'all had a great experience, and we want y'all to come back. Y'all more than welcome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That GGL. There you go.
Nigga, I appreciate having yeah. you in the booth again. This motherfucker, y'all some bad motherfucker. This sound like it was some real NBC sports shit going on. Up here. I'm had to surprised block you didn't out. crack. You had the whole time, both. All, Me and all T Dap had to block y'all out because the shit was yeah. in every play. All four of you at the end were just super focused. Back him out. Back him out. Back him out. Back And what you used to say? It's zero zero. It's zero huh? zero. Yeah. <laughs> Dig out every time. It's zero zero. It's huh? zero zero. Yeah. Greatest comeback. Yeah. Final thoughts. Yeah, yeah. it was a lot of fun. You know, I think two v two was a, a cool dynamic, but at the end, I think we had ourselves a hell of a finals and a hell of a champion. Congrats, yes, guys! Congrats. We're so glad that you came out. Thank you. Hope you're entertained by this action. The highlights will be on the YouTube channel. Make sure you check them out if you missed any of the action today in GGL number six. We thank all the sponsors for coming out. Lucid Sound. Mary Jane, Boss Lady Entertainment, Steve's Goods, Weed App for coming through with the food truck in the most major of ways, and also Next Burger. Thank you guys so much for all Man, your support. That food was good as a motherfucker. Yeah, that. That. That yeah, that is so good. Yep, yeah, we had damn near smoke. We had the one. Everything. Yeah, we, did it. we did it real big, guys. Thank you so much. Happy oh, birthday, Sam. Oh, Cut the motherfucking cake. Of everybody <laughs> here at the GGL, we'll see you next time, October 18th for GGL number seven. Two days before my we'll see birthday, you next time. so we're going to do it. That's my guy. Yeah, that boy.